Bueno, bueno, bueno. Probando, probando. Check it, check it. Test, test. Is anyone out there? Hello. Can anyone hear us? Yes. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the What Did He Said podcast. Bow, bow, bow. Um, I feel like I'm hearing some kind of effect, uh, but I think we'll be okay. Let me close a couple of fucking programs because uh, we are coming at you live from the quarantine, man. And uh, hold on, let me just... Because, you know, I've been rapping and shit. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right, what happened? Go. I had GarageBand open as well. Check the mic one more time. Hello? <clears throat> Louder. Try to speak up. Dingy, 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 okay. dingy. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are literally coming at you live from the quarantine. We don't even know what day this is. We don't know what today is. But, nah, we bullshitting. We know it's Monday. Uh, <laughs> we've been doing great. We've been doing fantastic. We've been staying hella positive. And it's amazing how there's always like somebody in our life that we let get under our skin um, um, a certain, you know, what I mean, and it's like you damn near have to watch 10 sermons, read 10 chapters, have so much momentum just to be able to go up against this character in level three in this video game that just always pops up after you done got hella free, man, like the your hearts, your energy levels full, you do one up, one up. Like and and then here it comes. Whoopsie. Exactly. Hmm. <laughs> Whose day do I want to ruin today? <laughs> yes. That's block, what block all negativity is what we're trying to say. It's like this is the worst time to allow people to affect you, but it's also the easiest time to allow people to affect you because, you know, we all need to get some sort of entertainment. <laughs> but, yeah, you, you know, it's all mental, man. You got it right now. It's all about your mental. And uh, I am rocking. This little chalequito, you know, a little weight vest. It looked like I'm motherfucking ready for the apocalypse and shit. Bitch, bitch ass zombie, motherfucker. Wait, wait till I just pew, 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 pew. Pinch a laser, you know, right to the zombie's eyes. Have you seen that there's people like preparing themselves in case of that? Like they're going to, they're going to like, they've been going to their little like land area to go to the shooting range type thing. Well, that tactical stuff, I, this is what I, here's what I think. The, ta- the tactical stuff uh, you're referring to like, where they show you how to like uh, shoot no, through I want to do that. Shoot through a car. I mean, yeah, I'm down. So like shoot the car windshields and and roll, tuck and roll and and uh pretend shoot your left with one hand. Yeah, pretend your left hand got fucked off and now you got to like change the clip with just your hand. That's the type of vibe my little outfit is today. It's it's muscle shirt cuz it's quarantine. You know, just cuz you got you know, we working on our tan. You know what I'm talking about? We getting that vitamin D. Penny's working on her tan. Yeah, Penny's getting a little tan finally and that but is he you know Güerita chinita, but uh, she's starting to get a little puestando. But yeah, check out my little vest, it, my little setup right here. I don't know if y'all like the new uh, visuals, but we got two camera angles going. I look like a like I work for Nintendo, like a gamer and shit. <laughs> like he he like a little thug gamer. See, he got his little blue chalequito on. But th- I don't know how many pounds this one is. Like a six pound vest, eight pound vest. I think that one's uh. Ooh, turn around. I, and I'll ask. Uh, in the back. I could ask your sister. I think that one's eight. Oh, word. Okay. It might be eight or six. But I'll be wearing these all the time. And we were painting uh, the fence in the backyard. Oh, my God. I'm sure everyone else. Well, I, I don't know. But I'm sure everyone else who, like, had, like, shit to do at their house, like, little to-do lists for handyman fixes, you know? You've, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, I'll get to it later. Oh, I'll do it. Yeah, it's the weekend. I don't feel like doing it, you mm-hmm. know? And it's like now, They're it's like, it uh, there's all the time in the world. I, all there is is I love, go ahead and do your updates. I love the amount of simplification we've been doing. Like, this seriously feels like a nice break. You know, all things considered, I mean, I know there's a lot of negative, too, that comes with it. Mm-hmm. comes with the overall situation. But uh, I'm... I'm kind of enjoying it, like, because when we would go on a vacation, you know, I'd relax, you know, but you feel like someone else is getting the edge on you, like you're taking a break and somebody else didn't take a break Mm -hmm. and they're working on this little off season. You're trying to just, you know, relax for a second before you have to campaign again. Yeah. So I almost feel like the whole world is taking a break. Like, you can relax. You can take a nap. You know what I'm saying? Like, just let your guard down. I haven't even... T- actually, I did take a nap. I fell asleep, like, a couple times. Yesterday, you did. past couple days. Uh, but we've been, I, I know I've been doing a ton of reading. 
We've been wor- uh, walking a lot, getting some exercise in here and there. Mighty Soul's doing her workout videos. Yeah. On her Patreon. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. Is the thing that connected? No, because this thing, first of all, I don't want to go to Guitar Center and catch something. That's really what it is. Oh. So this particular little interface has two inputs for two mics. So it's either me as mic one and then la maquinita. Beep, beep, beep. Or two mics. There's probably another way, but there's, a, you know, I'm chilling. So um, there's a lot, I have a little to-do list. I've been catching up on scripts and, and stuff like that. We did the fence yesterday, which was nice. I had been wanting to do that for I don't know how long. Started watching Ozark. We Oh, my God. God, Ozark. Okay, my thing behind Ozark, babe, is there someone out there that was that great at laundering money to where the FBI wanted to hire them? Have you heard anything like that before? Wait, the FBI wanted to hire who? Remember on Ozark, like the FBI lady was like, serve your 18 months because then Navarro thinks you didn't rat anyone out. And then when you come out, you work for us. Oh, I missed that part. I was kind of like half asleep on that part. I that heard her say. We were, that's when we were cooking And that's when dinner. they kidnapped him. That's when they kidnapped no, him. No, right before. She finished was, saying something about 18 months. Yes. So remember when they were at the, uh, what uh, was spoiler that? Spoiler alert. Ozark. Uh, when they were having Season that little three. concert. Okay. Yeah, so when they had the Ariel Speedway. They were sitting in the office and he was like, she was like saying like, there's no way out of this, bro. Like you're going to get fucking caught. So listen. I can really work something great with you, which is one, uh, you basically serve 18 months in jail, but you come work for us when you get out. He goes, mm. there's no one on our team that can do what you do. Like, you're fucking amazing, right? Wow. Yeah. So then he was like, just like, okay, whatever, you know? I guess he marinated on it, and then the concert was happening. He walks up next to her spoiler and alert. says, spoiler alert. So 18 months, right? And then he, she was like, 18 months. And then he was like, all right, let's do it. She goes, let's do it. So then he, they were supposed to sign those papers the he next gonna, morning. Be like but a, that's when informant. he got kidnapped. And uh, that's when Ruth was there. And he, she's like, well, where's, where's, um, what's his name? Marty. Again? Marty. Marty. So he's like, where's Marty? I'm going to put that in a wrap. Marty Bird's dog. Put the pressure on him like Marty Bird. Man, Marty Bird was getting it, bro. Marty Bird, he was getting it. Laundering all the money, he was flipping it, rinsing it. Okay, Marisol is actually on hold with uh, <laughs> some customer service people. You ever try to get customer service during the quarantine? Uh, welcome and uh, thanks to our sponsor, Hello Tushy. No, I wish they were. We just ordered a bidet from Hello Tushy because I saw other states were like, man, ain't no toilet paper, dog. Y'all still got toilet paper? And I'm like, man, what the fuck going on with this toilet paper shit? I had been wanting to get one of those from uh, Hello Tushy. I hear Joey Diaz promote them all the time. And uh, y'all should get down with the podcast, man. I'm just saying. Just put, I know y'all listening. I'm just throwing it out there. And I'll bring my chalequito to the meeting. Burr, burr, burr. You know what I think would be cool, babe, is if every time we go into a city, like for a show, we should do like a morning boot camp workout. Yeah, that's before, a great right? idea. And those are the type of ideas that come out of a quarantine. So... You know, when everything is back to normal, I think we definitely should go in a day early, schedule a time, even if it's an evening. Yeah. Like the evening before. Well, I guess we're going to have to base it on the uh, weather. And it should be like if you have your comedy show ticket. It's free. Yeah. Or no, you get to attend. Oh. <laughs> Buy your comedy show ticket. I don't know. We'll I don't know. It out. Yeah, I'm not tripping. Like, I know Kevin Hart, when he would do his runs. He, I think it was just open to the public. He was just trying to get as many people involved. Uh, no, but he was getting paid by Nike, huh? Well, he w- turned okay. around and got paid by Nike. No, he, was trying he to get started that when he got signed with Nike. Oh, he, That was uh, his thing, his little, like... I uh, thought he did it, and then Nike no, was like, oh, No, no, no. Okay. That was his little, like, campaign, bro. No. Come on, Kevin Hart, he... you. We already know that he... When you're booking him, you're booking him, his social media... His all that stuff because he charges you separately. Like yeah, he's not. Bread. It's okay. You're hiring me, but I'm not posting anything on my social media unless you want to include that in the package. Yeah. So it's you're getting mm-hmm. me plus social media, and then it's this fee for social media. So yeah, yeah, I heard him say it in an interview where it's like, no, you paid me to be in the movie. You know, we that was one deal. Me uh, broadcasting it. Ampli- promoting amplifying it to my friends, to amp- my fans. I'm yeah, sorry. Amplifying the message 
out to a very specific demographic, there's a lot of value there. So technically, we're going to have to have a separate conversation about yep. that. But, uh, but I think that's a great idea, uh, what you just mentioned. And uh, also, I wanted, we haven't seen Tiger King yet. But I started to watch it because I was interested in like the little things that I had re- read about it. Uh, but obviously, you know, Penny's the boss of the house. So, uh, yeah, she went about the tiger life. But uh, Penny's been learning a lot of new words during the quarantine. Yeah, she has. She's, you know, Rosa. Well, she's been going to school. Por favor. <laughs> yeah, she's been doing her little homeschool. Por favor. So this, Gracias. Thing, that, uh, this thing that I started to do um, that I guess if, if you're a, a mom that listens and you have a little toddler, uh, obviously we're all guilty of letting them watch YouTube, which by choice, it's not my choice, but my babysitter definitely, and, and, and it's all learning stuff. So it's fine. You know, it's not like, um, what do you call it? She's not watching just junk, but, uh, you know, the same way I feel about the iPad. I feel about the, um, TV. She just, started getting the ipad we just allowed it during this quarantine because i was running out of the damn ideas of <laughs> during like the quarantine her, yeah of like how to keep her busy because it's like okay we already played with play-doh we already painted you already went into the pool we already walked we already did your matching game we didn't walk three times we walked three times we didn't did we matching did uh, col- match colors matched colors you know what i'm saying we done snack we done you done did about a hundred snacks you did burpees with daddy i mean i mean i was like running out of ideas so it's like okay there's got to be some good games that she can uh, play on yeah, her me- ipad meanwhile people been ordering merch thank you very much but now oh, yeah, I, but now you. i gotta take my ass <laughs> i need to vlog that like me like I don't I could just see that as the title, the video title. Like I'm having to get out of I'm having to break quarantine. And it's like, yo, y'all still ordering merch. Like, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. To, you know, right now we can't go to your city to do any type of boot camp, workout, show. Uh, but there's a bunch of merch that, you know. A lot of great ideas. Like we should um we should definitely write this one down. So Let me So so the m- one of the ideas I had this morning was uh, next, because I heard Joey Diaz saying, I'm throwing away all my material. I'm starting fresh. I bought 10 notebooks. It's on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I got a whole script that I haven't even tried it all on stage. So I may have to do a working out series, mm-hmm. if that makes sense, where I damn near, all right, one of these shows, you're literally going to damn near just read it to them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And just you're kind of performing it, but. Fuck it. That's how they do it in New York and L.A. All these superstars and shit. They had a paper right there. But maybe even make it free or whatever when, when shit goes back to normal. But the idea, listen, listen. The idea is this, is next show, new material. That's why I brought up the workout series. New. Bam. We coming from fresh. Uh, we somehow l- releasing video of the older stuff that I was pretty much going to, a lot of it was still in there and still getting polished or whatever. It's old to me, but it's new to a lot of people. Um, so maybe we do like 30 minutes new and then we do like a 15 minute, like you and I co-host crowd work. Yeah. You and I, oh, okay. Like some games, like ladies, like we could damn near have our little tricks, our crowd participation things. Like, oh, hold on, hold on. Like a battle of the sexes. Why is it that? Fellas, I know y'all got my back. Ladies, why y'all always, da, 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 cause as soon, like she got me the fanny pack. You know what I mean? Boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. Laugh, laugh, laugh. And then you like, well, uh, ladies. Last time I checked, we the ones X Y Z. Hey, it's our, it's our own uh, couples therapy. Exactly, and then we could do Q and A, and people could be like, "Man, how do y'all, you know, if y'all work together, how y'all keep from bickering and fighting and shit? Like, what, how, what's y'all secret to this or that, or whatever?" But it, that way, at the end of the show, they're like, "Man, we got two great opening acts." Chingo did his thing, hit us with some stand up out the gate, um, and then Marisol came on stage. She even rapped. When it, y'all wanted some rapping, Marisol's going to do the verse. <laughs> She's going to do that. the grills. <laughs> let I me hear. I mean, I got a beat. Hold on. Let me do a little. I wish I had the beat machine hooked up. I got, uh, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Babe, I am not going mm-mm, to mm-mm. rap on here. Mm-mm, mm-mm. And then on stage in front no of the crowd, on skills. stage in front of the crowd, I'll even like beatbox. Like, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. I got calm out right now. So. But I could like hit the stool. Like, and then you rap to the beat. Big white cup, big purple. 
Man, my teeth shine more, more shinier, shinier than, than China. China. Ask your baby mama who's the one that's I, most hard spicy. <laughs> I can't do both at the same time. Beatbox. Hey, you tried. Ask your baby mama who's the mama. More spicy. Me, I cross the border in order to get icy. I could go diamond for diamond again. No one Did can it. hear you, Chingo. You're the rapper. Oh, no. He ain't just say what I think you said. Did, Did it? it? The ring hit the light. See, I want to do a concert, too. <laughs> I want to do a what, concert what? live okay. stream. Okay. I ain't got good Wi-Fi back here. We got to stay okay, on hold. Okay, so here's customer the thing. Service. I'm on hold for customer service, guys, for the past. Okay. Gazillion. I don't know how many more hours I can wait on this phone. A but Brazilian hours. It's ridiculous. This damn. I mean, I get it. People are calling about their bills, so I don't blame them. Everybody's concerned about that. That's so crazy, though. Can you? Th- you <sighs> we got to stay positive. Man. Everybody that's out there. Oh, uh, the economy is going to bounce back. You know, the other day, back. babe, I reposted something, and I just kind of was reposting people that I know who's got little small businesses. Like, we're we're a small business, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And um, I was just encouraging, and someone said, how are we supposed to buy if we ain't got no job? And I was like, damn, huh? bro. What? What did they say? How are we supposed to buy what? Like, oh, support them. Like oh, yeah, you were, shouting out a, you were shouting out a business. business yeah, and, and we ain't got no money and, and, and ain't got like, no job. I'm like, bro, it's not directed for you. It's, like, directed to whoever can support, you know? Yeah. It's like, don't take it so, like, literal and, like, I'm telling you specifically to support. I'm just saying, like, if you can help, good for you. Like, I'm sorry, guys. Like, I know that everybody probably thinks you're, you know, like, cashing like you've got a fucking bank full of money you know what i'm saying we do well i'm not saying we don't you know what i'm saying and we manage but you know, we, we also wait, don't, we waiting on nike we don't we don't one one thing guys we don't do is we don't live lavishly like we live very simple um we don't basically we don't live out of our means that's what i'm saying i don't we don't try to front and drive a car just because we need a front and uh, ain't nobody paying eight hundred dollars for a car note. Sorry, I'm not doing it. But I still a, I still ride leather. I you know don't what I'm give saying? a f. I still got heated seats. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I could still drop An the $800 top. Eight hundred dollar payment is ridiculous. Yeah, you know that's just unnecessary overhead. It's because, ridiculous. And the reason the reason I say that is because, you know, really what the way I look at things is like, are you purchasing the the item? to keep up with the Joneses and try to impress somebody you're never going to meet. That is like impress doing. somebody you're never going to meet or flex on somebody you don't like. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like to just keep it I've authentic. I've honestly I have never been like that. Okay, I'm not saying I don't have nice things. So yes, I do. I, I have name brand bags. Yes, I have name brand shoes, but I also have non-name brand shoes. Tenis del año. And I also have non-name brand purses. And I don't wear... The one thing I don't wear, guys, is name brand clothes. For me, fashion just goes out of style way too fast. So I literally hit like Zara's Forever 21 or any of them stores. El el Forever. Because it's going to go out of style probably in the next week. And then it's literally... Whatever fashion it is for that week, uh, for that month or whatever, it's only for that month. And I, I don't want to spend three hundred, five hundred dollars on something, and then all of a sudden, you know. <laughs> Let me uh, let's shout out the patrons real quick. Let's get them on their uh, their lens. It's the built-in story. It's only for the patrons. What up? In another edition of Only for the Patrons. Here goes a little bit of behind the scenes. This is what we're working with right now. Peep game, peep game, peep game. And you guys get this episode first tonight. Gracias. Peace. Man, I wish they had filters on it, though, dog. Cause damn, I didn't finish shaving my head properly. My shit look fucked off. Me trasquile. No, no hay pedo. Here, let me post it anyway. All right, so Marisol is on hold. I'm over here talking to the patrons. Hey, babe, look at this. Check it out. Check it out. Look how dope this is going to look. Like once oh, wow. once we get it all streaming, like I could build us a whole new little overlay with whatever color we want, oh. and then right here, live chat, people could all the comments could be in the middle. You know? I like your setup. I think I want to do the same for me, babe. Like my desk be over you, there. You have the same computer. No, I know that's what I'm saying. Like that's my setup, and then they sit over there. Does that make sense? Yeah, like like let them sit on the couch. Uh-huh. Your guest sits on the yeah. couch, and then you sit behind the desk. Yeah. And you can do so much. Like yeah. right now, I'm recording it. So, shout out to uh, Compound Films, Frank Lopez, 
uh, genius motherfucker. He's been helping DJ Taco uh, set up his his yeah. live virtual strip club, dog. I mean, son, I don't know. I'm not a technical. I'm not a computer engineer, but somehow they made a virtual <laughs> club like it was twerking. It was shout outs. It was tipping. It was DJing. It was a party. Uh, I might call in and just like I might be the first official co-host. Does that make sense? Like <laughs> like the host. It's like hosted by. It's like a, he said it, it's club essential. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah. Hey, babe. Club check essentials. This, check this thing my mom just sent me and it's supposedly her client. Is this OK? Go her ahead. client who works for MD Anderson. You okay. ready for this? Uh -huh. OK. Breaking news, guys. OK. My mom. I don't want to. I'm not calling her a whore. Just so we're clear. But she's a news whore, right? <laughs> and so I just want to make she that know, clear. I, I hope she can tell the difference between and so my propaganda. Mom loves, my mom's also a YouTube whore. She loves <laughs> to watch, you know, these videos about infections. My mom is my mom has always said if she died and came back, she would totally be an anthropologist. So my mom's big time into history and studying and reading. That's why you guys always have so much to talk mm -hmm. about because y'all are both such big readers. Um and I think I've told you guys before that growing up, it was like read a book and you're rewarded for it. So we were we had to read a lot of books growing up. But anyhow, so this is a text from a National Health Service worker from MD Anderson who works at I'm sorry, who works at MD Anderson. As of tomorrow, do not leave home for bread or anything because the worst begins tomorrow as the incubation date is met and many people that are positive with the virus start to peak. It's at this time other people are most vulnerable. So it is very important to stay home and not be in contact with anybody, even family members, if, even members of your family, if possible. Being very careful is very important and very crucial at this time. As from tomorrow, we are going to see the start of the peak of those that are positive. Then there will be a two weeks of calm and then two weeks where it decreases. What happened in Italy is that that, that is that they neglected the con contagion period, and that is why all the cases turned out together and so badly, which is what you talked about, how Italians are always together. So, well, you know, that was one of the theories. But another thing, too, is that northern Italy has uh, has for decades had over what's the word um, over the normal amount of influenza mm -hmm. mortality. And then it says, plus, they didn't know what they were dealing with Two. And China was helping them. Three. Yeah. Because, you know, finally, they, they didn't want to be the ones to, to be the worst. Beat. Okay, go ahead. And finally, please do not receive visits from anyone, not even from the same family. This is all for the good of all. We will be in the maximum state of infection. Do not, do not hold on to this message. Pass it on to your contacts if possible. The, I got this message. Oh, well, this is my mom's friend telling her. I got this message with one of our uh, MHCMDs um, who basically has been working supposedly with, like, the governor and, let, let I me mean, see the it. mayor or whatever. Let me see it. Do this as best okay. so you can for the yeah. whole week, starting Sunday, 329. Yeah, all right. So, look, uh, this is my public service announcement. Before I even read this and investigate, because I already know what to look for. Uh -huh. Keep your skepticism at an all time max right now. Be skeptical because they have already caught other countries planting fake news and putting up like fake data, fake studies. Like if the study came from China, come on, dog. You got to be dumb as a motherfucker to believe that shit because they have been lying and been crooked as a bitch mm -hmm. for a long time. So my point is this. Be skeptical. It's v unfortunately, this is an information problem. Unfortunately, we live in a world where it's hard to know what to believe and who to believe because they might be lying to you for your own good. So I'm going to read it and I'm going to try to investigate some. Uh, I already know what to look for to see if it ain't like, oh, it's just so another country came up with a scheme and they knew it would it would set fire like a chain. It would go viral like a chain letter. All right. Um. So she copy pasted it. It's not a screenshot from a conversation. 
Uh, no, she copied and pasted it with her oh, friend. Oh, she sent. copied pasted it. Okay, so it's not even a screenshot. She doesn't know how to do screenshots. This is a text from a National Health Service worker. Okay. S- uh, uh, yeah, this just sounds... Uh, okay. So... So they're saying, what's going to happen? It sounded real scary, but what's the specific thing they're predicting? Basically, don't come out. Like, legit, within the, which everybody says that the, within yeah. the next couple of weeks, we're going to hit our peak, which is basically what this is saying. Like, don't go out. Don't mm. let any new individuals okay. come into your home, you know. I mean, it, overall, it sounds like sound advice. It sounds like good advice. It's more of what we know we should be doing. Stay your ass at home. Mm-hmm. Don't be having fucking picnics and get togethers and fucking una carnita asada, compadre. Um, I'm calling out my aunts and they <laughs> went to hang out together. And I'm like, what? Why? Why? She's like, During because, the hey, and then um, one of my other aunts. No pasa nada, hombre. My aunt Alila posted it and then made like posted. They were all hanging out. My other aunt, Oof. Emma, she was like, dang, no invite. And I'm like, what? I would have been like. Damn, thank I'm you. I'm glad you didn't invite <laughs> me. Anyway, my aunt said only 10 people at a time, so I could only have my three sisters, my two sisters and their spouse. And um, and the picture that they took is they were all six feet apart, and so they were, like, talking to each other six feet apart. It was funny, but not funny, if that makes sense. So, you know, I mean, look at the way we had to go celebrate your niece's birthday and your dad's birthday, bro. We had to drive by and say... Happy birthday. We made a sign for them, you know, and then it was like, oh, hey, happy birthday, you know, because yeah. we couldn't get off. We couldn't <clears throat> take them to dinner. Uh, we couldn't. There's so anything. much. There's so much irony uh, that, that that's what makes these memes so funny. Like the one that says uh, the world is upside down. Um, old people are having to sneak out of the house and, and the kids are saying, stay home. It's for your own good. Um, the other one about. Um, Telling your parent staying away from your family is an act of love. So like me having a wave at my dad for his birthday from across the street is an act of love. It's like I'm choosing not to hug you. Yeah. For your own good. So it's. OK. Mm-hmm. So this came from my mom's friend who works at the hospital. Remember we were telling about that guy, Nabil. So that what so is he, he works there. So he works. There. What he's does he do the, there? He's a. Uh, Oh my God! So the he, they give you anesthesia. So he speaks English like that. That's he has good English like that. He's yeah. an anesthesiologist. Yeah, there you go, anesthesiologist. I couldn't uh-huh. think of the name. Yeah, that's what he does. So so, and he vouches for the source. It's not well, an, an anonymous source. He said that that's what Did, they got. The info, info they got was sent to them. So basically, the question is, he knows who sent him this, and right. they it's firsthand from them. Supposedly. Then maybe it is real, but then maybe. R- basically, what I'm trying to say is. Do not trust anonymous fucking sources in a time of crisis and emergency. Don't be like, I know somebody that knows somebody that got this from somebody that knows somebody work at a hospital. It's like, is there a doctor's name? Is there a hospital name? Did you literally, is that your cousin? And they literally said yes, because a lot of, you know, it's just, you got to be careful, man. You cool heads prevail. You got to stay positive, prayed up. I've been preaching about this shit. And it's easier said than done. Uh, I've been reading like a motherfucker, doing my, you know, balancing, you know, being a husband, being a dad, holding down the fort, staying home, doing my part, good citizen, hitting burpees, size, hitting abs, size, 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 what it do, puro pinche pucha. I think El Mamado needs to uh, make a comeback. I think Theo Juventino needs to do a, a whole little sketch about how he's Tiger King's Tiger Plug. Like, todos los pinches tigres, güey, yo, yo, güey, yo, yo los crié, güey, yo les daba la pinche yo carne lo... en la boca, así de lejitos, okay, güey. Okay, but could you really have a, a tiger, like, if you raised it from baby, do you think that they can o- honestly be domesticated to the point where they can be like dogs? I mean, Mike Tyson was wrestle, uh, ride, he had the line, whatever it was, uh, he had them since they were cubs. He had the mama since the mama was a cub. So he'd have them in the car. Like, he'd have them on a chain, he'd be wrestling with them. He's the one that fed them. I, I mean, I'm sure they still have tiger instincts. So don't, don't I feel like don't fuck around. Have a little bipolar yeah, tiger. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that I could <laughs> honestly trust that. I feel like I would be like, uh, what if this tiger turns on me? Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. And then he just fuck around and feels like, oh, she looks pretty yummy today. I think I'm gonna just like, eat ooh, her she, arm off. Ooh, she literally looked like a snack right now. 
Okay, I'm checking the time, just making sure. Vamos a la playa. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see if this YouTube. Hey. Oh, I don't think it's playing. No, I got to set it up. It's not playing through the recorder. Does that make sense? I was jamming out to oh, Vamos okay, yeah. a la playa. But, um, you know, we've been trying to crank out this content as well. And just just thinking about our strategy for when Corona passes. You know what I'm saying? What new skill? What new talent? What new idea? Uh, what are we going to work on in this time off? So I, I've... I've legit been enjoying it, man. Like, less people in your mix. It's just, I don't know. I, l I love it. Yeah, I like it, too. It's, I was, it's we, kind of ideal. We actually like, had that I'm combo right before. And, you know, we had that combo right before that, you know, we uh, got on here. and Yeah, like we, we sit down to have lunch. Yeah. We talked about that. We talked about how our babysitter would be so impressed with us because she always says, like, do you guys sit. ever sit down to eat? Because we always take either we're taking our lunch to go or uh, we're standing up eating because we've got to go move on to the next thing. We've actually had sit down lunches and sit down and, dinners. And it, it makes so it makes you wonder about all the stuff we spent time on, how necessary, like how much of that was procrastination. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, I got to go pick up that right now from the cleaners because it's on the to do list and. Actually, we, we really, you know what would have really occupied our time? The touring part. Yeah. In other words, hey, bro, you leave to Atlanta tomorrow. Like, we need to make sure the merch is all packed. We got to run to the storage unit, you know, dig for, the, you know, grab X amount of bobbles, T-shirts, hoodies, whatever, whatever. A little bit of back and forth with the club, uh, prep stuff. Like, do you need to hit the barber shop? You, you feel me? Uh-huh. Uh, little errands and stuff just so that you're prepared to go do your job and meet the people and now how are we going to do vip like what is the world what's the new normal um it's hard to tell i don't know what I, okay so even like from listening to joey diaz's podcast the other morning or yesterday or it was this morning right last night no i don't even know see uh-huh what about uh, it? anyway regardless um it was like where um, they said like even touching the the gas pump like you've never man, thought about i never man I, I was just like, eh, why be a germaphobe? I guess there's germs on it. But you don't sit there and think, be like, what did the nasty motherfucker before you do to his gas pump? Like, did what he did he do with his hands? What if he scratched his booty hole? Man, he probably did. And then grabbed the gas pump. And now you got booty hole on your hands. Foreign, unidentified booty hole on your hands. Do I throw up now or later? On your hands. And then you scratch your face. Now you got booty hole disease Ew. on your nose. Now you got booty Bro. hole. So listen. Disgusting. We're going to come out smarter af after this. Like, you know, you know who's kicking ass right now? Engineers. Engineers are Myself. finding w because they're they're you know, they're building apps. They're building websites. They're they're taking uh, things like ventilators and making them better. Like um, General Motors is making some ventilators. Tesla is making some ventilators. A bunch of companies are making masks um, like um, the My Pillow people. Mm. Uh, I guess the dude was like made in America, made in America. We make these pillows here. We make these made here. And then they switched over real quick to making masks because that's what you do in wartime. So the General Motors deal that went through the emergency, uh, some type of like act, some kind of executive power that says like th we're being attacked. This is wartime. And that's what the fuck they did. Like the Rosie the Riveter, you know, the lady mm -hmm, with the mm -hmm. with the bandana. <clears throat> that's where all this spam and canned goods and those are MREs. Mm -hmm. Meals ready to eat, basically. Uh, I mean, I never ate an MRE, but me either. I'm just. Uh, it doesn't I, even look good either. To my no. What did my sister say? They make you constipate it. Probably because I don't know what they're made out of. But Maybe if it, it if of it the, doesn't the whole uh, the preservatives to keep it, you know, for or if it doesn't have no fiber, if it don't have no vegetable, I don't know what they serve in those. I don't know what they put. I really don't know. Is it like sardines in there? I have no idea. It might be some kind of meat. Lo if I had to guess, it's like a little TV dinner. TV dinner technology, if I'm not mistaken, came from wartime. A lot of these advancements. Oh yeah, I think you're absolutely right. It's wartime, so we're gonna have advancements. The engineers are figuring out. So look, after 9-11, right, mm -hmm. uh, the government said, hey, um, 
we need to put the word out. There's any startup companies, anybody's looking for these contracts. Um, you, it, if you have a way to make a device in case there's something that really bad happens and we need to test people's blood and stuff like that on the field, in the battlefield, on site, can y'all not? Because the way it used to be is you had to go to a laboratory and there was big machines and the technology was different and then they could run the tests. So now they're gonna have like a little size of a toaster, weighs six pounds, because the engineers came up with a way, and boom, you know. Um, pro- check problem. this out, babe. Uh-huh. The first official TV dinner. Sorry, guys, about that noise. Yeah, Let me read it from my phone. Freaking annoying. Sorry, I'm ha- on hold and I'm not hanging up. I've up now. I'm yeah. going on two hours just so y'all know. Wow. The first official TV branded TV dinner was created by Omaha based CA Swanson and sons and hit the market in 1954, which what war was around that time? I don't Ooh. recall. Nah, man, I'm bad with my history. 54. M- I don't think it was anything. The meal consisted of Turkey gravy, cornbread stuffing, sweet potatoes and buttered peas and sold for how much do you think? Uh, 50 cents. Close. Not really. 98 cents. Oh, a dollar. Yeah. And um, the reason they named it TV Dinner was because it was around the time that TVs were booming and people were buying TVs. They and he to thought eat dinner in front dinner, of the TV. TV Dinner just sounded like a product that made for convenience, uh-huh. which it was. And the Swanson executives agreed. Yeah. So that's where it Shit. I, I used to like them as a kid. I would ask my mom, like, but now that you think about it, it's kind of gross. And then it asked, um, and then someone, I guess, on the on Google, you know how they keep asking stuff, uh, do they still make Swanson TV dinners, right? Well, there's a Swanson, uh, I know there's chicken broth that they, mm-hmm. that's their brand or whatever. This is Camden, New Jersey. Swanson is a brand of TV dinners, broths, and canned poultry made for the North American market. The TV dinner business is currently owned by Pinnacle Foods. While the broth business is currently owned by the Campbell Soup Company. Mm. So New Jersey, I guess, still kind of carries them. So anyway, there's, there's your little uh, history for war I guess I was wrong. But, you know, I do know that in wartime, there's a lot of advancements. And think about, think about how much more conscious people are going to be of, I'm not touching that. They're going to have wipes on them just to be like, I'm not touching that gas uh, nozzle. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and then even after you have to uh, hold it a certain way, you're going to know to fucking wash your fucking hands and don't touch your fucking face. So think about all the VIP stuff. It'd be like 50 VIP, 75, depending on the city or whatever. And it'd be like, what's up, man? Good show. Did you have fun? Bam, bam. Where you from? You know, shaking hands. Bop, 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 bop. Shaking hands, shaking hands, shaking hands. I remember somebody, I can't remember where, they were like, it was someone in the staff or management or somebody like, don't touch your face mm. right after. And I was like, huh? And I'll scratch my nose. Oh, no. <laughs> you did? Think about it. Anytime you someone's saying don't don't touch your face or you're talking about not t- touching your face, you one, feel like touching babe, your face. One thing you do do after every show when we get back to the hotel is you take a shower. You're like, I've shaken a lot of hands today. So nah, you're like, it's not like germaphobe, but like sometimes you have to just like wash off the day. Think about, like, reflect, relax, and, like, it's almost like, okay, this thing you were anticipating and just the adrenaline, you almost want to just, okay, you know. Like Wash some it off. Yeah. Which, which is, which is to be honest with you, when I talked about, about um, self-care on my podcast, that mm-hmm. was one of them. It was like, it's, uh, I actually, I think I posted it on my Instagram where I said it's called the shower meditation. And that was basically one of them. One of the thing was like, imagine picture the water, just washing away any negative things that just happened, any negative thoughts, anything shitty that happened for the day. Just picture the water cleansing your body and it basically going down the drain. And then you're starting over fresh and fresh and so clean. I want to get, ba- get out. I want to get back on my meditation. Um, b- you know, been working in the um, like the home workout stuff, reading. Well, that's um, all we can do. Being positive at this time. Staying prayed up. Like work on yourself, you know, mm-hmm. like reflect. Um, you know. Dig into, you know, the uh, like yourself, you know. That's why I be asking my dad, too. Like, all right, dad, did you. uh 
did you pray? You know, you're reading anything? <laughs> He's just like, huh? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> I'm like the parent and shit in this situation. But, um, but uh, your dad is, un- you know, having to be by himself right now. And, you know, it kind of sucks for him. Did, so you, did you order that blanket? I haven't even placed the order yet. So okay. we'll do it. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm ordering my dad a uh, like a swaddle blanket. It's like a weighted heavy blanket. And it feels like a hug. You know, he's by himself. And, you know, my, my sisters, they'll like drop off food. We're, we're, he has, he's like, I have a lot of food right now, like dishes and soups and stuff that they cook. And we're just waiting our turn. Like, let us know when that runs low. But uh, right now, because the Rona, he's 77 and diabetic. And he's had like a heart attack and like a stroke. Oh, no shit, boo. Yeah. So if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, that was a heart attack. Mm. When he came home. How many years ago was that, boo? That was a long time ago. Oh, okay. That was like 20 years ago. Were your parents still together? Yeah. Oh, shit. Way. Okay. Yeah. Dang. I didn't know that. That had was like a good 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. I was like in college. Mm. And then the stroke thing, that was probably, I don't know, lose track of time, like five, seven years ago or something. Dang. But we got to play it safe. So just wanted to check in with you guys. Uh, those of, y- of y'all that are watching this on YouTube, on the CBTV channel, <clears throat> my new channel, please go subscribe. Let us know what y'all think about this, this new little setup, man. Look at this. We got two camera angles. And as you can see, there's a, a window right there for live chat for when we stream it. Right now, we just kind of pre-recorded it. But uh, to the rest of you guys, uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you for doing your, doing your part, social distancing, laying low. And if you're not doing it, guys, please start to practice it because, you know. But my family thanks you, if those of you that do do it. For sure. We appreciate it. Thank you. We all got to do our part. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just one of those things. This little virus, you know, said, oh, this this little species over here, they like to they like to live in big cities. Mm -hmm. Uh, They like to scratch their nose. All right. I know how I'm going to mutate real quick. I just uh, I really hope uh, I know that they're saying that we haven't even hit peak. But, you know, I really hope that people start to realize how serious this is. It's not a joke. Like, please stay home if you're not an essential worker. And, and if you are an essential worker, I really hope that your employer is really helping you practice the social distancing. Because I know that we've driven by on our bikes and have seen construction workers being very close to each other. Well, I so, and I just want to tell this story. And I know we're going to get off already. But my eyelash lady, guys, um, I just I have been just texting people randomly to see how they're doing, like my friends and, you know, People that you develop a relationship with. And anyway, so my eyelash lady, um, she, I texted her to see how she was because I kept seeing her post things about staying home, boo. Uh And everything was like, stay home, stay home. I'm like, okay, I get it, Uh girl. You know, all the memes and all the memes. And the reason why she was posting it so much was because she had a little scare. So we got that curfew thing. I know it was happening already in other cities, but for us, it didn't happen until Tuesday of two weeks ago or a week ago i don't know uh, yeah it's gonna track. be well today is day six seven seven i don't fucking Any know no. anyway <laughs> i mean I, i've been knowing about this shit since february so uh, when, when was that water scare houston had it happened in february we had come back from i forget what city well my my uh my sister no your sisters told us no i saw it on the on instagram my news <laughs> Where it said that the water pipes. Oh, the water thing. Yeah. Broke. And then, but then the Corona shit came after mm-hmm. when people started like taking notice, but I've been knowing so since it, first week of February. So check it out. Uh, so my eyelash lady did this lady's eyelashes on Thursday, right? Then Monday or something, she gets a call from her client whose eyelashes she did on Thursday. And then she says, Hey, listen, <laughs> I've been coughing. I've been sick. Oof. My coworker, who who I see in passing, bro, in passing, meaning you work way in the fuck over there. I work in my office. We only see each other in passing when we say what's up. Not even an elbow tap, nothing. Mm. It's a what's up from afar. That coworker tested positive for uh, coronavirus, right? Uh-huh. 
So employers. Hey, we got to use a code word so you you know they don't kick us off here. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Demonetize. So us the and CB. Shit. <laughs> all right. The Rona. So the Rona. Okay. <laughs> so then. We're, it, we're just like percent like Rhonda. Okay. <laughs> Roña. La Roña. La Roña. Basic. So basically, the employer then had to figure out a way to get their employees tested okay. because they're not testing anybody unless you have symptoms, correct? It's hard to get tests because it's centralized. That's why it's taken five days. Okay. So whatever it is, this employer, I don't know who the employer is, but the employer managed to be able to get a few people tested because that girl started feeling fucking symptoms over the weekend. And so she was like calls and says calls into work on Monday and says, you know what? I've been coughing. I haven't been feeling well over the weekend. I've had no fever, but I don't know if, you know, I should come in. And then they told her, well, so-and-so just tested positive for, La Roña. And then she went and got tested. So then they, the employer made her paid for her to go get tested. So then she got tested. Right. And then she got her results and she came back positive. So then she told, jo you know, my eyelash lady, like, Hey, you did my lashes on Thursday. Okay. I don't know if I was carrying the virus already by that day, but I really suggest that you go get tested somewhere form. My employer said, cause her employer made her contact any people who she's had contact with within the last 10 days. I don't know where they came up with that number, but within the last 10 days, who has she been socializing with? And so she had to make a list, almost like AIDS. You know what I'm saying? Like uh -huh. when you test positive for HIV, who you been? You know, it's like who you been laying up? Yeah, with. exactly. So who she you was had Netflix to contact chilling with? Whoever she had been around the last 10 days, right? Uh huh. And Joe, you know, my eyelash lady was one of the people. And then she had clients. <laughs> and then she had clients. So then oh, she was shit. having to test all the people. She this is with all in text that she's telling me. She had to text all the people who she did on Friday and Saturday. She's okay. close to Who on made Sunday. her do that? On she her own? did it on her own because okay. she felt guilty. Okay. She's like, I was already planning to close, but since my building hadn't closed yet, she was like, Well then I'll just continue with business. She's like, and people were still wanting their eyelashes done, so it was kinda like, Well, I'll still do it. You know what I'm I saying? I'm curious how ladies are going to look at a lot of their maintenance. I mean, I took off my eyelashes, bro. It's like a, like a G. It looks crazy. She just took a shot of tequila and says, I'm on. Anyway, babe. So Jojo <laughs> ended up being able to get tested because she had to take proof of, so her, her client sent her, I guess, I don't know what they sent, but anyway, it was her proof of that. She was positive. She went to one of those centers and said, I just uh, did this client. She tested positive. I'm here because I've had to, I've she's had a like, contact. I didn't wear no protection. I didn't have no mask. Yeah, basically. The World Health the Organization. The only thing that I will say that she does every time when you come in, the first thing she does is she changes the paper where you lay on, which uh -huh. you have to almost like a doctor's office, right? Okay. And then two, she sanitizes her hands right before and she starts she, the next client. And then client. three, she does uh, colita, colita. Sana de rana. Sana, sanita de rana. Sana, sana, colita sana, de yeah. rana. Colita de rana. Échate un pedito pa' ti, tu hermana. Ahí te guacho mañana. <laughs> 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 On that note, since we got her to do that laugh, uh, thank you guys for tuning in, watching, listening, supporting the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash chingo bling. Marisol has one as well. Uh, Patreon forward slash it's. No, I took away the it's. You did? Yeah. It's so you liked it? It's confusing now. It's like you liked it pick, with the stick, one, stick to one. All right, so it's just Marisol Herrera yeah. now? Okay. I thought you were going to make it match your Instagram. But uh, either way, you could have Googled it. And we might start one for the blings, depending on, you know, if we can get a system down yeah. for some of these ideas and uh, things we want to create and do and share. For but, sure. Um, but y'all take care of each other. Remember, don't stay be safe. Stay safe. Don't be believing no cheese, man. And anytime you see a news article, ask questions. Be like, huh, could they be trying to scare me? And two, this person that y'all saying died from it, did they do an autopsy? Or were there any health issues you might want to mention in the article that maybe makes sense? Like the person just got over cancer mm -hmm. and they, um, you know, and they were overweight and this, that, the third. And but we're not going to tell you that. We're just going to say they went to Disney. And now they died and they had the Rona symptoms. It's like, were they tested? Anyway, you know me. I don't be believing half the shit I read. So 
Until the next time, thank you guys so much. It's the What Did He Said podcast. Peace.